drifting along Or you're sinking like a stone Carry on May your past be the sound Of your feet upon the ground Carry on Carry on, carry on Hello and welcome to our week in books. I have a couple of purchased books. Um, one was just kind of an impulse and the other one was because I had read the, the book as a net galley. There we go. Isn't that a cool cover? <laughs> the Paladin Prophecy? I don't think it was either. That's why I kept getting closer. Um, the Paladin Prophecy by Mark Frost. It's a random house book and I read it last summer as a net galley and I really enjoyed it. Um, Will West, uh, he's told by his parents to do everything so that he's not noticed. So he gets mediocre grades, he runs in the middle of the pack of his cross-country team so that nobody notices him, and then he makes a mistake. He scores really high on an academic test, and suddenly strange things start happening. And he's out for a run one morning, and this is right at the start of the book, he's out for a run one morning, and all of a sudden in his head, he, like, he notices that a black sedan is like, kind of following him and um, all of a sudden in his head he hears his dad a text I'm sorry it's a text there that I'm not remembering it wrong he gets a text from his dad that says run will and so the adventure starts basically and I'm not going to tell you what was going on but it's pretty cool well because all the black sedans were creepily following you and so you get a buzz <laughs> of course you're going to like maybe you're going to call somebody it's crazy <laughs> and so because I was ordering that I saw this, and I've been curious about this one, the Peculiars. Let's get that close enough. See the cool wings thing that's going on here? Anyway, the Peculiars by Maureen Doyle McQuarrie. And this one says that on her 18th birthday, she tells her that. mom. That's what I'm going to do. She tells her mom and grandma that she's going to go to Scree in order to try to find her father. And Scree is um, basically kind of a wilderness. It is of beautiful of dangerous people because the peculiars are said to live there and there were people right. with unusual characteristics uh, right and that's so unusual. she and her grandma, her mom and grandma are like shocked that that's what she's going to do but she wants to go find her father so so i was like that sounds like a really good story the peculiar so i picked it up you're up so i have a few net galleys and i only have a cover on one of them which is the second book of come on you can open it um called come on the unseen dark hey just like your screen oh no oh and then it's in black and white after all that but it's kind of cool no matter what i'll post it below um by sharon cameron um it's the second of the dark unwinding i'm not sure if that series has a name to it or not but um, it's the second one of that i love the dark unwinding it's the second and uh, so there it is in black, like and, white. In black and white. It's kind of creepy. Oop, there's the light shining on it. And the whole oh my entire, gosh. Look, you can see the whole library. Um, I'm going to have to. A spark read unseen. That. Not a. Sorry. Spark unseen. So by Sharon Cameron. Um, and it's the second after The Dark and Winding. So. I can't wait. That's oh, yeah, be yeah. Good. Frozen. Mm hmm. Looks that way. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, I also got The Naturals <laughs> by Jennifer Lynn. Barnes, which, um, that one, I was just reading about that one because I couldn't quite remember it, and that one I'm really excited about. Um, it's people, teens with special abilities, and they're picked up by the FBI because of their special abilities, and then they do, like, profiling and stuff like that for the FBI so that cool. they can catch serial killers and things like that, and then I believe they get hunted by a serial killer. So, um, I thought that sounded really cool, like some of the TV shows I like to watch, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, that's called The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Bar Barnes. Uh, Witch Struck by Victoria Lama. Super excited about that one. That one's from Harlequin Teen. It has a gorgeous cover on it. Um, and then Uncrashable Dakota by Andy Marino. And I'll post all these covers uh, below so you can see them because none of these net galleys have pretty covers like they have. So, when they actually um, are published, yeah. Yeah, and then tomorrow we are on um, the blog tour for The Morning Star by um, Robin Bridges. It's the last in the trilogy for um, the one that you love. I know, I love. 
on the um, trilogy. So um, I can't even think. I can't. I have too many books in my head right now, so I can't think of what the trilogy is called right now. Um, the Katarina trilogy. There we go. It came um, to you. I know. It takes place in Russia, which is what I love about it because it's so different. It's um, as if um, all of that the you know the slaughter of the Tsar Nicholas and their mm -hmm. whole family as if that mm -hmm. hadn't happened and as if fairies um, were part of that family and part of Russia and vampires and werewolves and shapeshifters and it's awesome and it still has all of that Russian history and um, all of the the takeover of those lands and and all of that kind of decadentness still happening in there so it's it's really cool I love it um but still all that paranormalness too so it's kind of that epic ending of that trilogy and what goes along with the block there's tour. going to be a giveaway so Yay! you have to stop so if you haven't stopped already for that giveaway because obviously this is a couple days after the blog tour stops um go and click below and enter that giveaway. And I'm reading. What am I reading right now? I am reading. I can't think what I'm reading. It. Should I jump in? I think you should. I am reading Autumn, and I currently can't remember who the author is, but it's a really good um, story so far. It's a net galley that I got, and it is about um, a girl whose father's dies and they have to move back to his hometown and they're living with her grandma she and her mom are and it turns out that this this town there's a curse that occurred in this town and there's a family with um that has been cursed and they're when the boys turn 18 they turn into coyotes and so it's about this girl hmm. who kind of starts to like the boy who knows that in just a few months because he's a senior in just a few months he'll be a coyote just like his brother um, turned last year so so it's the first in a series I am thinking um, and so far it's been really good okay so I'm reading Dark Triumph which is the second in his Fair Assassin series by R.L. Lefebvre's Robbins uh, series and I loved um, the first book in that series and this is Sabella's story um, it was Esme's Ismay's story last time and this is Sabella's story and I was extremely worried that I wasn't going to like this as much as I liked the other one because I liked it so so much and this is basically the same chunk of time and the same it's, it overlaps the first book mm. it's just what happened to Sabella happening and a chunk of that so I was really worried about liking it or not because be I very rarely do that I very rarely want to read something like that and it's amazing I'm thinking of the author how it. confusing must that have been to write I thought so too I kept thinking how in the world did you make sure that you did everything exactly as you should have so that it matches yes it so it matches exactly book. as it should have mm -hmm. wow it's incredible, and I'm like, this close to being done, so it's really hard to work. Really hard to, like, do anything. And the third one, when we met her, isn't going to come out for quite a while. Because the third book, which is the end in the trilogy, is going to be the whole big war. And Anna's story, so it's going to be a while before she's done with the third one. And then I will read the series. <laughs> It'll be good. All right, so, so that's that's what we're reading. Yeah. So tell us what you got this week in books. Tell us what you're reading. Post it below. We'll come and comment. Bye. Carry on, carry on.